Greetings everyone, welcome to our first vlog. I'd like to talk a little bit about how these vlogs relate to TCB's vision and mission. And the vision is this, is to help people connect more deeply with the natural world and to demonstrate very specific practices that help us attune with life's natural rhythms and to allow these rhythms to help us create a more loving, equitable, and sustainable world. So the purpose of the vlog is to show our daily rounds, my life here in Chiang Mai, Thailand with my wife and kids, our five cats, and how each aspect is an example of these natural rhythms, a specific practice of connecting and attuning with the rhythms of creation. Christy sleeps, snuggle, love daddy. Okay, gotta get up now. <sighs> yeah, she had some nice bonding time. Good morning, A significant part of these practices is noticing, connecting with, and learning from these natural rhythms. For example, in the morning routine, how important it is to start the day with gratitude, to give our love, attention, and care to what we love. Miko, man. What about Shanti? Uh, I think I hear Shanti girl who wants breakfast. Shanti, come on, baby, come on. This comes, he does this. Just sits there and just do, 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 do. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go, breakfast. Get the chicken and tuna ready here. I cut the cucumbers, but first I do this. Cucumber game, more for Prissy. So feed your cats vegetables if they'll eat them. Fresh tuna and chicken for everybody. A little bit extra for Miko, cause he's the big boy. We got the dry for kitten for Sally. Persian for uh, Sierra. And adult for Miko, man. Okay, now Prissy, Prissy, come on, Prissy. Come on, come on. And watch out, babe, watch out. Let me go, man. Let me go, man, let me go, man. There you go, big green eyes, big green eyes. He just loves this red flower arrangement. Look at that, he just looks so gorgeous. And he's just like hanging out there. My wife keeps calling him a lady boy. Hey, don't be calling my boy a lady boy. Okay, this girl's gotta get us uh, a towel bath because she lays on the road and she smells like the road and mommy just hates it. So, uh, so we gotta give her a little towel bath here. All right, so. I know, baby, I know, I know, I know, I know. She doesn't like it at all, obviously. Oh, I know, I know, I know, baby. I know, wait a minute, give me your eyes there. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> but my neighbors, my neighbors are gonna think that I'm doing uh, Satan worship over here, animal sacrifice. Anyway, so Ciara wants to go out, but not without a baby. A mm, nice and clean. Not without a little snacky snacky because look, baby, because she didn't finish her breakfast. So she gets a little, finish her breakfast, and then she can go out. They need to be free. Yeah, all right, Love come on, guys. Free. Go on, baby, go on. There you go, baby, go on. All right, so. It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Tommy and Tally. Well, that makes me happy, seeing these guys are just hanging out. They really like each other, they're best buds. And by the way, can you hear the storm coming in? All right, guys, I'm gonna give them a little bit of treat here. A little bit of treat here. Prissy. Ciara, girl. Shanti. One for Shanti. Miko. No, Miko's too cool to play. Uh, April and May are the heaviest smoke months and here in, in Northern Thailand. And there's virtually none now because of the rains in the last a uh, couple of weeks, couple of three weeks, lots of it. But just look at this, it's just so gorgeous. This by the way is for our plant art, but just such a gorgeous day, wow. But this is our plant debris art. 
This is Bee's original one that she had to re-glue. And this is mine. I actually cut my cardboard. Okay. Another practice is beholding the beauty that surrounds us. To many, or most, this is just ordinary plant debris, but to me, it's art. He just comes up and does this, you know, off and on, just comes up and presents himself. Okay, buddy boy, you big boy, you you. And coming back after her little adventure out in the neighborhood. Shanti got a bird. Yeah, I don't, I, I want to save it, but there's no way. Another practice is mediating between the wild and tame worlds. Obviously, our cats, these creatures, they're wild creatures, but they live in a tame world. We do everything we can to prevent them from uh, getting animals, birds, but there's times where we can't help it. I mean, they're hunters, and instinctually, they want to kill. So, have to do the best we can to prevent that and accept it when it happens. And there she is, after her kill, and her feast, well, not a feast, it was kind of a small bird, but for her, you know, and as if nothing happened. You know, I've been an avid disc golfer for almost 30 years, and I find that um, keeping my body fit and supple is so important to being able to connect with and attune with uh, the natural rhythms. Well, I'm here at Lana Rock's garden, and these guys are just in heaven, man. Beautiful day, beautiful venue here at Lana Rocks Garden, and enhanced by these guys just having a little dip. Nice. Okay, I am at Cheng Bang Disc Golf Course in, in Chiang Mai. Uh, we have three courses here uh, two with baskets, one without uh, temporary baskets on the, on the third one. And this is whole one. I'm about ready to drive. Not a very good day, but I, I wanted to get a clip of me playing disc golf, so here you go. Hole one, Chang Bang Disc Golf Course. There you go. Ah! There you go. Look who's here to see me when I come home. The Miko man himself. That's Tally. He's hunting. He's hunting birds, but he has not gotten a bird. Fortunately, he's not gotten a bird yet. And I don't think he's going to get one of these minus because they are clever. See the minus that are really confused right now because this. Uh, I won't use the exponent. This gentleman here cuts his tree down. Uh, this breaks my heart, and they're coming back. To their home, and you know their their home is gone, and they're devastated. They're like they're really confused. This event made our anthropocentrism and our arrogance so clear. Just assuming that we can destroy an entire ecosystem and feel no remorse whatsoever. You know, I just feel really sad for the miners. Okay, I'm just getting the bird song here in the afternoon. I sit at my porch. The miners, they're just so. Uh, what, colorful, you know? They're not, literally, they're just black and white, <laughs> uh, but their personalities are so colorful and their vocalizations are very colorful as well. They're unique and diverse. And by the way, I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit because there's a storm approaching or whatever, but definitely hear the uh, rolling thunder. Noticing is so important, giving our attention to what would otherwise pass us by. Just a simple storm, one of many almost every day for a month, and yet each time it rained, I noticed the cleansing effect, how the air was uh, cleansed, and the freshness of the, of the air afterwards.
Okay, all day long, in and out, and in and out. And normally, when she's in, she's in many different places, but she loves this condo. So you know what? This is now designated as the new Sierra throne. Every time I go by, I gotta do this. Hey, hey, every time. Cause she's, I just can't resist. And mommy agrees. Mommy agrees. She is just so gorgeous. Every time I see her, I just cannot, I cannot get enough of that little girl. Okay, B uh, just went out and got back and she bought this stuff. I'm not sure, like cat treats. Where'd you get it? From the pet shop. That's how you do it? Yeah. You just let them lick it. Let them lick it and you squeeze from the bottom. Now this guy says, wait, what about me? No, you had yours. And Ciara coming to, she says, snack. Just passing through for my coffee and look what I see. This is a very unusual size, a very welcome size. Hey. Look at that, during the day, she's almost never in during the day, so anymore. She used to be a lot, now she's mostly out. So, happy, 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 happy. Okay, it's about time to get rid of this now. It's uh, fading. I just love it. I love the brilliant red. And I also love how it fades, changes color. You know, just the cycles of life and death. Another practice is witnessing and contemplating death. You know, in a place like this, the tropics, nature is so abundant and I have the opportunity to see death a lot. The, you know, the death of animals, the predator and prey and, and uh, the, the plants that you know, bloom and fade. And to really, you know, contemplate my own death. You know, we live in a death-averse culture. And of course, without death, there is no life and we need to really acknowledge the beauty of death and really for me acknowledge my own death and well you know there's fear but also uh, that release to me is a beautiful thing subscribe now and press the bell icon okay working on my desk here and as usual this guy comes and rubs on my leg and then he and he also wants this because he hadn't had his afternoon snack. So of course he's got to have his afternoon snack. All right, buddy. Hey, hey. No, 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 no. Here, bud. Here. There you go. There you go. The storm that started around, I don't know, maybe three. And it's finishing now at dusk. Beautiful. Of course, when you have rain and sun, you most oftentimes have that. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue. Sorry guys, that just slipped out of me. You know, ever since I was a kid, whenever I see a rainbow, that just pops out of me. So, and that's another practice, you know, keeping the joy and the wonder in my life. And the practice of really being aware of life's transitions. I love dusk. It's not day, it's not night, it's in between of the twilight zone and really uh, becoming aware of those transitions. Well, look who's in for dinner. Hey, buddy. Look who's rubbing on my legs at my desk. Daddy, dinner time. It's uh, a little after eight, so we gotta get all those. Who's in? Okay, so Nico's the first. Okay, look who just came in. It's number two, Tell Monster. Okay, so Tell Monster's gonna go in with uh, Nico Man, and we're gonna wait for the girls. Okay, boys are in. Well, I turned around, uh, turned around for my uh, my desk here, and Prissy was there. Uh, nobody was in except for Miko, and he got out because mommy opened the door and he got out. And nobody was in. Turn around, she's in the office, uh, and she's right there. Tally, uh, Miko is right there. And Tally was already in, so Tally was the only one that was in. So now we're just waiting for Shanti. But she came in on her own this time, that's good. So she gets a little snacky, 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 snacky. Okay, there you go. There you go, baby. Okay, I must tell you, I am so happy. Two nights in a row, in, yes. You have to be aware that there was a time, just a few weeks and months ago, that Prissy was out oftentimes two, three, four nights in a row. 
and this is shown in the context video too by the way there'll be a link for that at the end okay yes indeed it is that time again it is dinner time you coming out okay say hi hi all right here we go miko man three tigers in the kitchen okay prissy and ciara girl okay good okay I'm here to take this guy into my room. Okay, night I buddy boy you. Night I buddy boy you. Night I buddy boy you. Night night shanty girl you. Night night, love you. Love you baby. Night night. I have these images and icons throughout the house because they help evoke qualities that I aspire to. In this case, compassion. Quan Yin, goddess of compassion. And that is exactly what this creature teaches me. Compassion, unconditional love. Okay, night night, baby, night night. So happy you're on the red throne. She just looks gorgeous. On that red throne, doesn't she? Gentle, Shanti, gentle bites, gentle, gentle, Shanti, gentle bites, it's cool, okay. Shanti and I have been together for 12 years and she teaches me so many lessons. In this case, unconditional love. Okay, nighty night time, it's nighty night time. Tally in, in Ciara's spot. Oh, Tally's in Ciara's spot, okay. Tally's on the Ciara throne. Chrissy's here in her usual spot. And Miko and Ciara with mommy cuddling. Oh, look at her. Look at the tail. Look at the yeah. tail. Look at that. Look at this is tail to communicate with. <laughs> yeah. This is the end. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Cuddling. Oh, so sweet. Oh, you grumpy girl. Okay, night night. Night night. Mm -hmm. Okay, there goes Shanti. There goes Shanti. All right, night night, babe. It seems as if this storm has passed us by. You know, it was distant. It seemed like it was approaching, and. the eucalyptus trees. These night sound recordings are core to my spiritual practice. These are the times where I pause, breathe, Subscribe now. notice, feel, connect, appreciate, revere, and ultimately honor honor each aspect of creation. Oh, wait.